This is like my second cup of coffee and I'm just not there yet. And it's not even that early, it's like 10 o'clock. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're doing a video that I've been excited to do since I like started my channel and that's the boyfriend picks my makeup challenge so my boyfriend came over like last week or the week before and i had him shop my entire stash the only hints i gave him i basically showed him like where each section in my collection was so i pulled out the foundation drawer let him pick one there pulled out the concealer drawer let him pick one but while he was picking and what he was choosing i didn't say anything and i just let him pick whatever he wanted so i have an entire bag here of all the products that he picked out and we're gonna do a full face of makeup that my boyfriend picked out for me so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you head out and if you want to see what i can create with products that my boyfriend picked from my collection let's just go ahead and jump in okay let's go ahead and push the hair back i'm actually going to see him later today which is why i was waiting to do this video so i could do the full face and then like show him how it looks at the end of the day. So I've washed and moisturized. I haven't primed yet because he did pick a primer. So let me pull out all the products. Okay, so for primer before I jump into eyes. So my boyfriend picked out the Burberry Nude Radiance Fresh Glow in number one for primer. So let's go ahead. This is something that um, I did try like a sample packet of this out before I bought the full size and I 100% think like the sample was better than the actual product. It's, I mean, it's hard to explain it. I felt like in the little sample packet, it was, it was just a better primer. Like this would make like a pretty, like if I'm not gonna wear makeup day, just kind of throw this on to give myself a glow. But like as a primer, I'm not really sure it performs that great. Okay, so for eyes, he picked out two eyeshadow palettes, a glitter liner, <laughs> and another eyeliner. So I have two eyeliners to work with. The first palette he picked out was the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Jewel Pop, which looks just like that. It's got some great colors in there. And then the other palette he picked out um, was actually the MAC palette that we made together. We went into a MAC store a couple weeks ago, and he actually helped me pick out all of these shades mostly greens because you know i love my greens but i'm really excited to make a look between this and the the elf palette and then the two eyeliners that he picked out he got the nyx epic black mousse liner like in the little pot and then he picked out the natasha denona blackest black star liner which is basically a black liner that you can put glitter on top of so i'm excited to kind of like play around what i'm thinking i really want to do like a cut crease with green fading into maybe like a blue and then i want to line it with the black liner so i might fast forward through this because it takes me forever <laughs> to do a cut crease but let's see how it turns out okay so i might have gotten a little crazy but i actually like how the eyes turned out it takes me way too long to do like a cut crease because of my crazy hooded eyes and everything but i just used let me show you what shades I threw this light blue shade along the cut crease first just to build up the color and then went in and deepened it up with this shade right here and then along the just the outer portion right here deepened it up with the shade in the middle and then I also deepened it up a little bit with this green shade from the jewel tone or the jewel pop palette from elf and then I lined it with the glitter liner from Natasha Denona I was actually a bit disappointed in like the glitter part the glitter itself isn't that great especially because i think this was like 30 dollars or something like the the liner itself is nice i'm also wearing the liner just along uh, my lash line but the glitter was a bit of a letdown like it's not as like pop as i would like it to be so if i weren't doing this challenge i'd probably go over it with a different maybe like the stila glitter and glow the black one just to line it and actually make it like pop more and then I realized I didn't have a brow product, so I just went ahead and used the NYX um, black liner in the brows, and it turned out just fine. That also took me way too much time. I think I spent like 40 minutes just on my eyes, so let's go ahead and keep moving. So we already primed. Um, the foundation that he picked out was the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation. I have the shade 40 Nude. And this is the one that has the big doe foot on the end like that. I'm just going to dot this on my face. Now, this is a foundation that I really liked in the summer. It's very light coverage. 
and moisturizing. Not sure how great the shade is for me right now though. Let's see. Oh yeah, that shade is off. Oof. Let's just bring this down. Okay, so that basically just evened out the skin tone a little bit. Very light coverage. And the concealer that he picked out is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. And this is in medium sand. I have no idea how this color is going to look either. Let's... Oh. Alrighty. We'll just... You know what we're going to go? We're going to even out the face with this. Just to try and tie it all together. Let's just... Oh, yep. Throw it up there. So that's definitely making it darker, uh -uh, but it is adding a, a little bit more coverage. We're looking dewy as hell right now, oh, but it's not bad, not bad. So I think I'm just going to dab a little bit more concealer around my mouth. And then I'm going to bake with the powder he picked out and then set my face. Okay, so the loose powder that he picked out was the mini of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm going to use that to bake the under eyes. Add a little on the chin. Alrighty, and the pressed powder that he picked out was my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I think he saw how big the pan was in there and thought I should grab that one. So I'm just going to set the rest of the face. Hope this does a little bit to even out the color. Okay, we're actually not looking too bad. Let me just brush the powder out of my brows. So while the under eyes finish baking, I'm going to jump into contour and highlight. For bronzer and contour, he chose the e.l.f. Cool bronzer right here. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in all the shades. Ooh, that is pigmented. Okay. I actually like the color though. I mean, you have to use a light hand just because it is so pigmented. But let's blend this out and see. A little on the chin. I'm loving how this side turned out. I definitely went in with too much on this side. So I'm going to tone it down with just a little bit of powder. Oh, there we go. That's actually a nice shade and I haven't used that one yet that was surprising and then for highlighter he picked out the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter I was told I could use either side so I think I'm gonna go in since this is kind of a extra look we're gonna go in with the more sparkly shade Okay, we're going to brush the bake off from the under eyes. I am going to jump in with these two shades right here from the palette just to like smoke out the lower lash line just a touch. Oh, 
Oh, I'm actually loving that. It looks so pretty. It really ties the look in together and it looks, oh, I'm actually loving it. Okay, and now for lips. <laughs> he picked out two shades. One when we were shopping, he picked this shade off the shelf. And then this is the one he actually picked for this look. So the first one that he picked was the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Top 8. <laughs> really warm. Um, and then the other one that he picked out when we were shopping, this is from black radiance and it is the perfect tone matte lip creme i don't know where the shade is it's, it's got a number 5411 <laughs> so let's let's see you know let's let's try the color pop one just to see shits and giggles <laughs> oh, I'm looking a bit like Christmas right now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's try the other one. <laughs> uh, oof. Okay. Let me just put it on top of this and see how the shade comes out. Ooh, that is dark. It looks a little better. Honestly, the formula of this one, it's really streaky, really sticky. I'm gonna try to pat it out. Okay, sure. <laughs> it does it does look better. It's not as like bright, like and it actually matches the ears. Yeah, just just leave the ears on all day. That'll that'll work. Alright, and the last set for setting spray, he picked out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Pro Spray and Set. So go ahead and lock all of this in okay that spray definitely made the highlight pop so let's go ahead and oh god fix the hair fix the hair and this is the final look <laughs> you know i have to say i love how the eyes turned out and the foundation while being a shade off you know it is moisturizing it is good for the winter too the concealer i'm not a huge fan of i've been meaning to actually declutter it and i just haven't gotten around to it so this is the you know i'm finally gonna get rid of it because it's not a great concealer it's also not a great shade i definitely wouldn't have picked this lip to go with this look but it does you know match the headband and i'm i was really surprised by the the elf bronzer powder it is a nice contour shade you just have to use a really really light hand otherwise it'll get little crazy so thank you for stopping by and spending this fun challenge with me i get to spend the rest of the day like this aren't you jealous <laughs> no i'm actually gonna go see my boyfriend show him the look we're gonna i don't want to put him on camera if he's not comfortable with it so i won't film his reaction but i'll probably put it in the box below just to see Whew. definitely dramatic you know, I had a lot of fun doing this, so I hope you had fun watching it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did like it, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I hope I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye. <laughs> oh, I feel like Poison Ivy, like, from Batman. Right? Right? <laughs>